Hello, Calculus student. This is for Chapter 3.1. Uh, the notes here you can download from Canvas, uh, uh, Chapter 3, Blank Notes. So it's beginning of our calculus. <laughs> uh, we learned limit already, so we are really getting ready to learn calculus. So that we say the first problem that calculus solve is uh, the problem of finding tangent line slope. And in 2.1, we talk about this concept of if we have, if we are to find the tangent line at a point a, comma f of a, this is x equal to a, and we want to find a tangent line which only touch this graph at one point, we can do it by finding another point. Because to find slope, you need two points, right? To find another point called x f of x, we call x because x can be any number on this, any point on this uh, on this graph so the slope would be f of x minus f of a because f of a y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we have this notation of having a second line slope m for slope we can also do it another way saying that if this is a so my second point is a plus h um, we just uh, do add on the on the uh, positive side so the second point would be with the x value of a plus h, so this is actually a plus h, the y coordinate as f of a plus h. You can see it really well. So it's supposed to be like that. So the slope of this second line would be f of a plus h minus f of a, y2 minus y1 over a plus h minus a is just h. Right, that's the notation. And then uh, how do I find the tangent line slope? We would say, well, I, my tangent line is supposed to have touched that uh, that point at only one point, so I cannot write it as a slope ratio. I'll write it as f prime of a. This is the notation. We call it the derivative. In words, it's called a derivative of uh, f at a, and we write it as f prime of a, and it's actually a limit. That means when x getting closer and closer to a, what is my second line's tangent. It should be very close to the real slope of the tangent line. So we have these two limit. One is f of x minus a over x minus a. The other is f of a plus h minus a over h. Now the second one are more popular. I'm going to show you a graph that I put on uh, Desmo. Okay, here you will see that my function is x squared over 10. This is the graph of the function and I have one point a is 2 2 and I want to find the tangent line slope but I can I can only find a second line slope so I have this uh, second point is really far away from a so in this case my h is 3 this is a plus 3 so that's 5 right so I can change this h so that it's getting closer and closer and closer to 0 so see when I change h is getting closer and closer to zero. This point will be getting closer to closer to two. And eventually, if my h is zero, which I could, uh, theoretically, we cannot. But by limit, we can say that h getting really closer to closer to zero, like h equal to 0 0.07, you can see that it's 0 0.01, 0 0.01. This particular slope, oh, what is the slope here? The slope here would be um, the same as the tangent line. So we are doing limit. The limit is not on the function itself, but on slope of a tangent line, slope of this, a second line. So let's get back to our note. So that's what we are after. Okay, 3.1. Okay. So remember these two notation. So to, in order to find f prime of a at a point a, it is either f of x minus f of a over x minus a. And these two are, if we know how to do the limit, we, we finish the limit, we now know how to do limit by um, analytical method, we would able to find the slope of the tangent line. And f prime of a is also known as the derivative of f of x at x equal to a. So let's now actually do it because we know how to do limit. So uh, we have in a function x squared plus x minus 4. This is the limit that definition we call this definition is how do we define limit? Find the slope of the tangent line. So 
we want to show slope of the tangent line at x equal to 3. That means in our notation, a is 3, right? No, a is 3. So let's use um, both method. Hmm. Did I have space for both method? No. Um, let's use uh, both of them. See if we can do both of them in this small space. So the first method is a is 3, so it'll be f of x minus f of 3. Oh, actually, it's a limit. x approaches 3. Right? x is any point away, and then over x minus 3. But f is x squared plus x minus 4, so I'll say x squared plus x minus 4 minus f of 3 would be 3 is 9. So this is equal to 9 plus 3 minus 4. So 12 minus 4 is 8 divided by x minus 3. So all of a sudden we have x squared plus x minus 12 over x minus 3. Okay, so we are to do this limit. x approaches 3. The original function was this, but this is the when you do the limit, you give it gives us the slope of the tangent line at x equal to 3. So uh, obviously we can plug it in. Direct substitution would give us 0, um, 9 plus 3 minus 12, also 0. Remember when we have 0 over 0, what do we do? We have to do factoring, can, factor and cancel. So this factor as x plus 4, x minus 3, also x minus 3. Oh, we can factor and we can cancel. So to find this limit is the same as doing limit of x approaches 3, x plus 4. So direct substitution now is 7. So this is the limit f prime of 3 at x equal to, at x equal to 3. Now if I do the other way, which is limit h approaches 0. And what we do is I do 3 plus h minus f of 3 over h. So in this one, I'm doing a another limit. The limit is h is approaching 0. So now f of 3 plus h, plug it in, is rather long. So we do 3 plus h square. Um, so if we do plug in, if you do direct substitution is 0 over 0, right? So we have to actually simplify it. Plus 3 plus h minus 4, and then y minus f of 3, minus f of 3 is 8 over h. Okay, so now let's see. Um, so multiply everything out, so this become. We're still doing the limit. I just didn't write it. It'd be 9 plus 6h plus h squared plus 3 plus h minus 12. And you notice that 12 and 3 and 9 cancel. And I have another h here, so 7h plus h squared over h. So all these are over h. I'm still doing over h. And I am ready to do the limit right h approach zero so when you do this is zero over zero obviously you have to factor h seven plus h over h you go zero over zero cannot substitute so do the limit now h approaches zero this cancel so i can plug it in is equal to seven so which one is easier is up to you both of them will give the slope equal to seven when the tangent line is uh which which will give the slope of the tangent line at x equal to three now if i know the slope of the tangent line can i actually find the equation of the tangent line let's see to find the equation of a line we need a slope which we did already as f prime of three is seven we need a point right the point is what 3 comma f of 3. 
which is earlier we say was eight, right? So that is three comma eight. Okay, so we have a point, we have slope, use point slope form, y minus y1 equal to x, m, x minus x1. So equation is y minus 8 equal to 7x minus 21. Simplify more. y is equal to 7x um, plus 8 on both sides, plus 8 on both sides. Minus 21 plus x become minus 13. So this is the slope of the tangent line at, oh no, this is not the slope. 7 is the slope of the tangent line at x equal to 3. And this is actually the tangent line with a slope of 7. You draw it, you will see that it touch um, the function at one point. So the other uh, uh, question would be, if I have the function this, what is f prime of 3? So again, I challenge you to try yourself and we'll go through it in class. You have to find to find f prime of 3. There's one way is f of x, just f of x minus f of 3, and then have x minus 3. But take the limit when x approach 3. So both version works. x approach, uh, h approach 0, but f of, we have 3, right? 3, x is equal to 3, a is 3. A is 3. F3 plus a little bit H minus F of 3 over H. H approaches 0. So both of this will give F prime of 3. So try to see if you can do it. This is a little challenging because there will be a lot of fraction, a lot of uh, fraction involved, but uh, try it and we'll go through it in class. But remember, to find F prime of A now, because we know how to do limit, and especially analytically, we can actually find the slope as a limit.